High school football practice began today for teams across Iowa and Illinois. The return of football is always special, but it means much more this year for one school in southeastern Iowa. The Danville Bears have a football team for the first time in seven years. TV6's Kevin Core has the story. Since 2016, these stands have remained empty on Friday nights in the fall, but today changes that. Drive for five here. Here we go. Ready. As football has returned to Danville, Iowa, Superintendent Patrick Wallace said that he heard from many in the community that they would like to see football back in Danville. So they set out last winter looking to see how much interest there was in the student body. I think there's a lot of pride here. You know, there's a lot of pride in Danville athletics and, and in being a bear. And so it says a lot about their commitment and the fact they're willing to kind of put their names on something um, and really kind of make a claim in Danville's history, you know, that they can be the first group to bring it back and sustain it. Because it's, it's kind of been back and forth as far as I understand it in the past. And so our talk has been a lot about how do we make this last, you know? And so it, it starts with them, it starts with the kids and their buying and their, their commitment and their involvement. And um, so far, I mean, they're doing everything right. 39 kids currently make up the Bears roster, but getting the roster together is just one step. Football is an expensive sport, but the Danville community showed their letter of intent to support the program with their money through fundraising. I wanted us to not have to spend a lot of general fund money out of the school's account to bring it back. So I was hoping that we could raise the money to bring it back. And uh, we set a goal for 60,000. Our, our kind of break even cost was around 50. Um, you know, so there's needs to have like shoulder pads, helmets, you know, updated gear. And then there's some nice to have stuff. And um, we raised $54,000 as of today. So um, the community came out and supported it. And it, it cost the school district zero taxpayer dollars. The, the community um, really rallied and it's, it's been impressive. For the past few years, Danville students have been making the trip down the road to play Play for Mount Pleasant, around 20 playing for the Panthers last year. It speaks volumes of what they've been able to do. Those guys that committed, you know, even those seniors that have been doing it for three years in Mount Pleasant, they're coming, they're learning in a new system, they're helping the kids below them, kids that maybe haven't played football in a couple of years. So we have some great leadership, and I'm excited to see what happens this fall. We got to experience the game at Mount Pleasant, and I love football, I love the sport. I go out, I play, but it just wasn't the same feeling as playing for your hometown. You know, having people you know in the stands, not a bunch of strangers, and we're all pumped around here, you know. A home crowd, a home student section, and also the return of Danville cheerleaders. I think they'll get a sense for truly what Friday Night Lights in Danville kind of feels like. Because um, like you said, it's been since 2016, so nobody in the high school, you know, student-wise has ever experienced that. And the last time they had it here, they were, you know, early, you know, late elementary, early middle school. And so I think it'll be really neat for them just to get that feeling and that experience. And um, I'm just excited to see how, how packed this stadium is on our first home game. The Bears' first home game is scheduled to be week two, September 1st, against Highland. It's going to be probably one of the greatest feelings we ever feel. Going to be very, going to have lots of chills. I know going to get a little emotional probably for me because it's going to be, it's just gonna, the whole town, I think the whole town plus more, is gonna, it's going to be packed. So it's, we're going to come out. We're going we're gonna to show them what we are. It, it's really exciting because uh, we, we get to come out here and play and like show all of our family and friends. And start a new legacy of Bears football. We talked a lot about what's your legacy, right? You have a real opportunity here to be the first senior class to go through and set the tone for what Danville football is moving forward. And, um, and I think we got the kids to, to do something really special. In Danville with the Bears, Kevin Core, KWQC, TV6 Sports. A new season of the Highlight Zone will kick off on Friday, August 25th. That's just two weeks from Friday.